You're also going to have to find angles with Sokotoa. You remember with tangent, there were times when we had to go backwards and find the angle. It's the same with sine and cosine. So here's just a few examples. Like here's an example where I have theta right here, and I have uh, 12 and 36. Okay, I want to find my theta. So I think, if I'm standing in this corner, what kind of true function am I going to have to use? And I think, well, this is the opposite side. This is the hypotenuse. That means I'm going to use sine, which is the so. So I'm going to do sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. And by the way, when you do trig ratios, sometimes they reduce. 1236 is actually the same as 1 third. I divided the top by 12 and the bottom by 12. Now, to undo this sine, to get theta alone, this is when you use the sine inverse. So, if you have to go backwards and find the angle, you're going to be using this, the sine inverse, also sometimes called the arc sine. So, if you're on an iPhone calculator, or on a simple calculator, some, you would have to do this. You would do 1 divided by 3. Once you find the answer, you would have to do the arc sine or the sine inverse in that order. But when you work this out, the sine inverse of 1 divided by 3 should come out to be 19.5 degrees. I rounded it up. It was like 19.47, but that should be the angle. Okay, we'll do another example here. Example 2. Whoops. The angle is unknown. And here we're going to have 40 and then 12. Alright, if I'm standing in this corner here, I'm thinking I don't have an hypotenuse, but I do have the opposite and I have the adjacent. So I'm going to be using TOA. So let's write tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Now again, I could reduce this. Tangent of theta, I could think of dividing by 4 on top and bottom. That would be 10 thirds. Now I'm at a point where I need to go backwards to find the angle. So I'm going, going to tan inverse 10 divided by 3. Okay, my answer is 73.3 degrees. All right, we're going to do one more. I'm going to have you try this out. All right, we're going to put alpha up here. We're trying to find alpha. And we're going to have 10 here and 15 here. Pause the video and give it a try. Since we're standing at alpha, we're thinking, I have an adjacent side and I have a hypotenuse, but I don't have the opposite side. So adjacent hypotenuse is cosine. So the cosine of alpha is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 10 over 15, which really could be written as 2 thirds if I divided by 5 on top and on bottom. But let's just go with it. You don't actually have to reduce it if you're just going to put it in the calculator. I did cosine inverse because I'm trying to go backwards for the angle. And my angle after I put in cosine inverse of 10 over 15 is 48.2 degrees. Now if I wanted to, if I knew that this is 48.2 degrees, I could figure out the other angle, theta. Just remember that theta plus alpha plus the right angle well, the three angles of a triangle should equal 180 degrees, right? So another question teachers will ask is, once you've found the angle, what's the other angle? So this is going to be theta plus 48.2 plus 90 should equal 180. So a lot of students just say 180 minus 90 minus 48.2, and the other angle happens to be 41.8 degrees.